Good evening and welcome to the Class of 2020 Senior Awards Program. I'm Ms. Taft, the high school principal, sitting here with Mr. Lehu, our athletic director. Tonight we will be giving out many awards, but first we have to do some thank yous. First, to Mrs. Field in our high school office. Without her, we would not have put this program together. Thank you to Mr. Kroskovia for taking the time to videotape this and get this all perfectly lit for us. And last, the community members and faculty members who have contributed to all these awards and scholarships. The things that are given out tonight will be distributed during a pickup time during the week of June 15th. More details to follow. Please enjoy this evening with your family. And for our first award, it's called the J.A. Paddock Award, given to two students. Earning this award are seniors who, through their unselfish attitude and endeavor, have shown their willingness to give themselves, their time, their thoughts, and effort for the benefit of others without thought or reward. This year's recipients are Emily Paddock and Seth Benedict. The Baldwin Fisher Memorial, given to two students. This award is presented to students with high ideals of character, maturity of attitude, and academic standing. This award is given to help defray the cost of college. Our congratulations go to Maya Cushman and Ryan Gage. Next is the Carrie Loomis Award. The Loomis Award is given to senior students with high academic standards to be used to help defray expense for additional schooling. Congratulations, Devin Grover and Lindsey Johnston. Next is the Federal Hollow Staples Scholarship for $1,500. It's given by Ms. Katie Brown. Becoming a committed and reliable member of the community through labor of love is work. Opening, running, and maintaining a small business in a small community through labor of love is work. These undertakings demand time, optimism, positive energy, discipline, and a willingness to roll up your shirt sleeves. Any time of duty, day or challenge when a challenge arises. It is not enough to take care of ourselves. We must also endeavor for those who need us. The Federal Hollow Staple Scholarship recognizes a graduate who exemplifies these values. Federal Hollow owner Katie Brown is proud to present this award to such a diligent citizen. Congratulations, Daniel Vaughn. Your commendable work ethic is celebrated. Next is the Big Brother Big Sisters Award, given by Sarah Powers. This award is given to a senior who has been an outstanding peer mentor to a student from the intermediate school for two years. She had completed a lengthy application, collected references, and underwent a very thorough interview and training. She came to the program every week for an hour and a half to support her little by talking with her, playing games, and making arts and crafts with her. She modeled to her little, little what a healthy friendship looks like while helping to build her little self-esteem. During the time of the program, Ms. Powers, who's giving the award, watched and admired the leadership that this student took on for the program. Her dedication has exemplified the type of student, leader, and special person that's needed for this program. Congratulations goes to Molly Minio. The Whitman to Whitman Relay Award, given by Mr. Ken Sealing. In 1985, the funds remaining for the, from the Whitman to Whitman Relay were set aside to provide an annual graduation award for Whitman seniors. In making its choice, the committee takes into consideration the recipient's efforts in the entire range of school activities. Special consideration is given to those who participate in track and field, but consideration is not limited to these people. It is a great deal of pride that we present this award to Liam Prendergast. The Middlesex Valley Volunteer Ambulance Service Community Leader Award. This is a $500 award presented by the Ambulance Corps. George Bernard Shaw said, I am of the opinion that my life belongs to the community. And as long as I live, it is my privilege to do whatever I can. I want to be thoroughly used up when I die. And the harder I work, the more I live. Edgar Laffler, George Mitchell, and Todd Nellis all serve the Middlesex Valley community and led the Middlesex Valley Ambulance Corps with dedication and that can-do attitude. They worked hard to make sure that the emergency medical needs of this small rural community were fulfilled. With this $500 award, the Middlesex Valley Volunteer Ambulance Service wishes to recognize a Marcus, Marcus Whitman Sr. who has shown the dedication to community service. The service of others above self, a can-do self attitude, 
goal of a future career in the emergency medical services, emergency management, fire service, the medical field, or nursing. This year's award goes to Jacob Niemitz, who plans to attend the University of Buffalo, Buffalo to pursue a degree in nursing. Congratulations, Jacob. The Jean Capoon Memorial Award, this given by Mrs. Johnson. This award is presented to a very hardworking student who has overcome challenges during his or her career here at Marcus Whitman. We are pleased to recognize Troy Foster as the 2020 recipient. Congratulations, Troy. The Stanley Lodge number 434 IOF Nursing Award for $100. The Lodge presents this award to a senior student pursuing a career in the field of nursing and who has shown seriousness of purpose, maintained high scholastic achievements, and exemplified determination in their school career. Congratulations to Amber Herendy. The next Stanley Lodge 434 IOF award is for engineering, given to a senior or student pursuing an engineering career. This recipient must have shown seriousness of purpose, maintained high scholastic achievements, and exemplified determination in their school career. We proudly present this award to Ryan Gage. Wegman Scholarship Acknowledgement and a certificate has been given. The Wegman Scholarship entitles the recipient to 50% of tuition with a maximum of $750 per semester and up to $1,500 for an entire academic year. The student can potentially earn up to $6,000 for four years of school. Congratulations goes to Sarah Rowe. Next are the Gorham Rotary Awards. These awards are presented to students who through seriousness of purpose have shown the positive attitude toward life and outstanding service to others. The recipients this evening are Ashley Parsons, Elena Don't, Colin Savage, Patrick Hampton, Christian Daniels, and Kaylee Wilk. <coughs> The Dan Harris Memorial Award. This award is given to a male or female basketball player who exemplifies the qualities and characteristics that Marcus Whitman graduate Dan Harris displayed before his untimely death. The recipient has displayed the attributes of leadership, character, dedication, and selflessness that made Dan the special person that he was. This year, the award goes to Ariana Beverly. The Blaine Smith Whitman Wildcat Perseverance Award. This award is given annually to the Marcus Whitman student athlete who demonstrated their willingness to overcome obstacles while obtaining a degree of success. Our, our 2020 Blaine Smith Wildcat Perseverance Award goes to Evan Gray. The Allie Gallons Spirit Award. <clears throat> The Alley Gallon Spirit Award is given to the varsity cheerleader who best exemplifies the qualities of the late Allie Gallons. Allie was a dedicated cheerleader during her lifetime here at Marcus Whitman. Tragically, she was taken from us in a car accident in 2010. This award recognizes the cheerleader who displays quiet leadership, work ethic, and a positive attitude. This year, the Alley Gallon Spirit Award is given to Alexa Johnson. The Tom Jones Memorial Athletic Awards. Tom Jones played in the late 1940s and was part of the sectional champion teams at Gorham in both baseball and basketball. He is also a member of the Mark Swipman Athletic Hall of Fame. The Tom Jones Memorial Athletic Award is an annual award given to student athletes who exhibit the following qualities. Appreciate teamwork and competition. <clears throat> One who builds camaraderie among teammates one who has a smile on their face despite the circumstances and always works hard at their sport. This award is given to just one individual this year and that award for the Tom Jones Memorial Athletic Senior Award goes to Seth Benedict. Our Gorham Rotary Award for $500. <coughs> this next recipient exemplifies the Rotary and their values by being a devoted friend to her classmates, a leader in the school, and is someone who takes action to create latest change. This young lady uses her passion and energy to promote peace and integrity and to bring a smile to everyone's face. Please join me in recognizing Molly Minio as this year's recipient. 
The Robert W. Robson Memorial Rotary Scholarship for $500. The Robert W. Robson Memorial Rotary Scholarship has been established to recognize a senior who has already displayed many of the same well-respected qualities and interests that Bobby shared throughout his lifetime. As many of you know, Bobby was a personable and hardworking individual who dedicated much of his time to volunteering within his community. Some of the local groups he participated in included church and cemetery organizations, town water department board, <coughs> meal on wheels, farming organizations, the Gorham Rotary, and for 22 years, the Marcus Whitman Board of Education. He was very proud to be a founding Marcus Whitman board member when the district merged. He enjoyed watching the accomplishments that the district made throughout the years. Bobby was also passionate about history, especially the history of our community. As a fourth generation farmer, he possessed a deep seated desire and commitment to the heritage and traditions of our area. This year's Robson Scholarship winner is a student who is following in Bobby's footsteps. This student has demonstrated a commitment to the school and community through involvement in organizations and volunteer service, and has shown an interest in the history and preservation of our community. This student, much like Bobby, is friendly, dependable, and wants to have a positive and personal impact on society. It is our pleasure to introduce this year's recipient, Mackenzie Van Sickle. The Richard Shoemaker <coughs> Award, given by Mrs. Shoemaker. For over 25 years, Mr. Shoemaker was a bus driver for the Marcus Whitman School District. He enjoyed students, and especially the sports trips. In December of 2011, Mr. Shoemaker passed away from lymphoma cancer. Mrs. Shoemaker has been a teacher in our district, and their daughters, Jody and Janet, graduated from here as well. The family would like to present their award to a student who has excelled not only academically, but also as an athlete who participated in football, basketball, and lacrosse. Our congratulations and best always to Dakota Blue Eye. The Brownstone Physical Therapy Award, which is a $200 award to each recipient, presented by Mr. and Mrs. Clark Brown. The Brownstone Physical Therapy Award will be given to a senior or seniors who have participated in athletics while maintaining their academics and who have overcome the effects of an injury or illness and returned to his or her sport in a capacity which helped the team. These persons possess a strength of will to overcome physical and mental adversity a special dedication to his or her team, and an inherent commitment to getting back in the game. Not just strong, but Marcus Whitman strong. Congratulations to this year's recipients, Caleb McDonough, Emily Paddock, and Seth Benedict. <coughs> Excuse me. The Rushville Lions Club Scholarship Award, which is a $500 award, this award is given to seniors who exhibit leadership, responsibility, and service to their community. In order for an individual to be considered for this award, they must submit a letter to the Rushville Lions explaining why they should receive this award. <clears throat> this year, we are blessed to have four seniors apply for this scholarship. The club recognizes that we are living through extraordinary times and acknowledge that we have a responsibility to our community to step up and do our part in making a difference. This year's recipients of the Rushville Lions Scholarship Award are Seth Benedict, Gavin Davis, Jacob Nemitz, and Liam Prendergast. The Harvey Gage Memorial Scholarship Award, given by the Rushville Lions Club. This award is presented to a senior boy or girl who exhibits outstanding music and vocal and or vocal abilities, and who is also actively involved in service to his or her community. Congratulations to the 2020 recipient of this award, Emily Lehman. <coughs> the Robert Hunt Memorial Swimming Award, given by the Rushville Lions Club. <coughs> the Robert Hunt Memorial Award is in memory of Mr. Hunt's of Mr. Hunt over 30 years of dedication and service to both the Marcus Swimming School District Swimming Program and the Rushville Lions Club. The Rushville Lions present this award to a senior boy and girl who exhibit the qualities he most embraced, citizenship, leadership, and sportsmanship. We are honored to present this award to two seniors who exemplified these qualities. Congratulations to Ashley Parsons 
and Nick Guadrin. Michael G. Turner Memorial Scholarship Award. This award is presented to a senior who has excelled, excelled in cross country and also participates in extracurricular activities while in high school. It was a great deal of pleasure that we present this award to Liam Prendergast. Congratulations. The Whitcomb Family Scholar Athlete Award. It is a monetary award given and presented by the Whitcomb Family. The Whitcomb Family Scholarship provides college financial assistance to a graduating senior or seniors who may have participated in athletics and may have been or will become involved in agriculture and or food service experiences. These individuals possess a dedication to their extracurricular activities and academic success while exemplifying strong leadership and commitment to the bloom goal of Marcus Whitman. We congratulate Caleb Boots and Jasmine Mitchell. A new award this year is the Marcus Whitman Alumni Scholarship. The Marcus Whitman Alumni Scholarship will be given to two graduating seniors whose parent or grandparent is an alumni of Marcus Whitman Central School District, Middlesex Valley High School, or Gorham High School. The two recipients will have continuously shown the characteristics of pride in the paw, being productive, respectful, having integrity, being determined, and reaching excellence throughout their Marcus Whitman career. Our 2020 recipients are Aubrey Bagley, Bagley and Gage Swartel. The Jim Tuck Memorial Award. This award is given annually to a student athlete at Marcus Whitman who has displayed the qualities that former Marcus Whitman teacher and coach, Jim Tuck, held very dear during those close to 30 years of service to our community. This honor goes to the person who makes strong efforts to support their teammates, classmates, displays determination to succeed to the best of their ability, is unselfish, and is a leader both on and off the field of competition. The recipient was nominated and chosen by vote by the varsity coaches. <clears throat> Congratulations to this year's very deserving winner of the Jim Tuck Memorial Award, Jacob Niemans. The Tom Meyer Award. This award was established to honor the memory of Tom Meyer. He was a Marcus Whitman wrestler who died in an automobile accident during the se his senior year in 1974. Tom exemplified the athlete who may not be the most talented on the team, but displays a true love of the sport. This award is given to a Marcus Whitman wrestler who shares that passion for the sport <clears throat> by demonstrating positive behavior both on and off the mat. He can be counted on to give his best effort during practice and competition. The recipient is always someone is also someone who represents the team with honor and sets a high standard of conduct for his teammates to follow. It should be noted that this is not an annual award, but is only given in years where there's a candidate meeting this criteria. We are proud to congratulate the wrestler who met the criteria this year. Congratulations to Chad Smith. <clears throat> 12 Sport Athlete Awards. This award is given to an athlete that participated on an athletic team each of the seasons, fall, winter, and spring, in each of their years in high school. These young athletes are to be recognized and commended for their commitment and dedication to athletics. Congratulations to the following students. <clears throat> Kelsey Tiffany, Liam Prendergast, Emily Paddock, Jacob Niemitz, Seth Benedict. I'd also like to take a moment to recognize those students who will be continuing to pursue their career in sports in college. There's a long list. <clears throat> Congratulations to Justin Smith who will be attending Alfred State and be competing as a wrestler. Ashley Parsons who will be attending Nazareth to swim. Mackenzie Van Sickle to Cuca College and she'll be cheering. Kelsey Tiffany to St. Bonaventure, where she'll be playing lacrosse. Emily Paddock to Nazareth College, where she'll be playing lacrosse. Alyssa Chase to SUNY Oneonta, where she'll play lacrosse. Seth Benedict to Lemoyne College, where he'll be playing lacrosse. Liam Prendergast to Clarkson University, where he'll be playing basketball. Dakota Blue Eye to FLCC, where he'll play lacrosse. To Patrick Hampton, FLCC, to play lacrosse. Eric Mansler, to Alfred State to play lacrosse, and Ariana Beverly to FLCC, where she'll be playing basketball.
congratulations in your careers in sports and academics at the college level. <clears throat> and one final recognition from a sports perspective, I'd also like to congratulate a senior who was awarded the Section 5 Winter Scholarship this past year, which was a $250 award, and it's a great honor to give that award to Mackenzie Van Sickle. Next are, is the Math Department Award for $200. This award is presented to the senior or seniors by the Marcus Whitman Math Department with the highest average in five years of accelerated math. Congratulations tonight to Robbie Abel. Mrs. Cooney's Math Awards, given by Mrs. Cooney, for her Math Achievement Award, this award is given to students with a cumulative average of 90 plus. Congratulations to Chad Smith, Caleb Boots, Alexa Johnson, Lindsay Johnston, Abigail Manns, Madison Wells, Rose Winham, and Daniel Vaughn. Also from Mrs. Cooney's, the H&R Block Budget Challenge. Congratulations to the following students who passed the budget road test, Caleb Boots and Daniel Vaughn. The Ben Loomis Scholarship for $500 given by the Loomis family. Ben Loomis passed away as he was beginning his third and final year of law school. He was a proud graduate of both Marcus Whitman and SUNY Geneseo, and his family would like to honor his life here at Whitman. His favorite studies in high school were history, math, outdoor PE, leadership class, band, and most likely senior lounge. He excelled in soccer and enjoyed skiing and riding his dirt bike. Ben was a loving son, brother, grandson, and uncle, and a truly loyal friend. He believed strongly and insisted that if you cannot say anything good, don't say anything at all. And above all, he valued fair play. Ben's sense of humor was appreciated by faculty, students, and family, and his commitment to the law was reinforced while interning with Judge Falvey at the Yates County Courthouse throughout through two summers. Ben's family would like to give a college bound Whitman senior $500 in his honor. They asked that the student be a scholar athlete with the average of 85 or better, and a letter in one sport, possess a good sense of humor, and be a champion of fair play. He or she should also be recognized for their loyalty to friends and family, their ability to sink out the best in people, and their desire to make an impact on our world. We proudly re recognize Caleb Boots as this year's recipient. At this time, we're going to have a short message for our 2020 class officers, President Jacob Nemitz, Vice President Emily Lehman, Secretary Troy Foster, and Treasurer Robbie Abel. I just want to say thank you so much for everything you've done for us the past four years. Um, this year especially, we know that what you do goes far beyond what we can see, and we appreciate it so much. And we are very blessed to have you as our class advisors. So thank you. Hi, Mr. Devlin and Ms. McCumber. I just wanted to come on here and say thank you so much on behalf of the entire class of 2020 for everything you've done for us. The past four years, we like doing things differently, which is probably a lot to handle. We like thinking outside of the box, but you've totally been on our side the whole time and like really fought for us. And then also Mr. Devlin, thank you so much for always eating lunch with us, always getting super, super hype on Spirit Day and really just that whole week, just pouring your heart and soul into our class. And then also Mrs. McCumber for always having a great attention to detail, uh, doing some like public relations stuff, contacting people, everything like that to make sure everything runs smoothly. Thanks so much, guys. Thank you so much, Mr. Devlin and Mrs. McCumber. The last four years have been a lot of fun and the things that we've done wouldn't have been possible without the work of you two. So thank you so much for everything that you've done. Thank you, class officers, and a special thank you from me to Mrs. McCumber and Mr. Devlin for the time and dedication over the past few years. Mr. Lehu? The Dorothy Peck Memorial Award, there's two student athletes, two, two athletes, excuse me, two students who received this award. This award is presented to two seniors who will be continuing in the field of education. Congratulations for the Dorothy Peck Memorial Award and 2020 recipients to Jane Snaith, and Molly Minio. The Outstanding Science Award given by the Marcus Whitman Science Department. An Outstanding Science Award is given to a senior or seniors who have excelled at four years of high school science and are continuing on to major in science or a related field. <clears throat> 
This honorary gift is a cash award given by the Marcus Whitman Science Teachers. This year we had a very strong pool of students that qualified for this award. However, we selected two outstanding recipients. We are very proud to present this award to Jacob Nemitz, who will be attending the University of Buffalo, and Liam Prendergast, who will be attending Clarkson University. Congratulations to both of you. The Excellence in Biology Award given by Mrs. Robertson. This award is presented to the student who earned the highest overall average in the AP Biology course. Congratulations this year to Maya Cushman. And congratulations to all our AP students who are taking the exam in the <coughs> format they have never taken or anybody has taken before. So congratulations to all of you. Next are our Agriculture Awards given by Mrs. Kuba. The Agriculture Award is for seniors who have taken three or more Ag classes over the four years and these students have taken everything from animal science to plant <coughs> science and mechanics. They've worked hard and I hope to see them continue to pursue their interests or careers in agriculture in the future. Please join me in congratulating the following students. Jasmine Mitchell, Camry Seaman, Elena Don't, and Justin Smith. Next is the Horticulture Green Thumb Award. Running a school greenhouse is quite the task to take on during horticulture class. This year we had a very small class, so they had to work especially hard to get everything done in time for our plant sale. Usually this award goes to just one student, but this year's class had several students that stepped up and helped outside of class to get work done and could always be found in the greenhouse. They aren't afraid to get their hands dirty and would start working on whatever needs to be done without being asked. Congratulations to this year's Horticulture Green Thumb Award winner, Jessica, Jalissa Conklin, Jessica Rossini, and Lucy Samus DeWall. And might I add that Mrs. Coolbaugh came up all the time during our little time away from school to keep those plants watered for the plant sale. <coughs> the James Gordon Community Service Award. Seniors at Marcus Women are required to complete many hours of community service prior to graduation. Our outstanding achievement in this portion of his academics, it is our distinct pleasure to present this award to Nick Watery. Next is the David Uttered Memorial Scholarship to three students at $500 each, given by Mr. and Mrs. Howard Utter. This scholarship was established in memory of the U.S. Navy pilot who lost his life in the line of duty. Its purpose is to aid graduates at the Marcus Whitman Central School District. The recipients of the scholarship are selected on the basis of scholarship achievement, good character, citizenship, extracurricular activities. The monetary amount is given to the college of their choice. Recipients of this year's scholarships are Caitlin Brown, Alexa Johnson, and Ariana Beverly. The Social Studies Academic Service Award given in memory of J. Walter Keating by the Marcus Whitman Social Studies Department. This award is given to the senior who has shown consistent academic performance as well as a, a sincere interest in social studies and or shown a genuine concern for others through community service. The senior honored this evening for this award is Rose Winham. The Doris and Vern Hyatt Memorial Scholarship Awards. This award was established by the Gorham Central School Class of 1962 and is present presented to two of our graduates in memory of Vern Hyatt, who was the former principal of the Gorham School and his wife Doris. We proudly present the 2020 Hyatt Awards to Michelle Reynolds and Sarah Rote. The L. C. Rippey Memorial Award. This award goes to a student who exemplifies integrity and service. In a crowd, this young man stands apart and, is, it, and it is a presence that bespeaks volumes to who he is. He stands tall in, in his convictions, dedicated to his personal tenets, and unabashed in his commitment to character. At the same time, he is a team player. He listens and learns from those around him, inviting discourse and internalizing other perspectives. He works ardently at his studies, his athletics, and his path to profession. He is a leader in the building, quick to smile, first to participate, and always ready to volunteer. He is a testament to this community, the school, and especially his family. Congratulations to the 2020 recipient, Ethan Whipple. 
Mrs. Alvord's Awards. These are certificates of academic achievement in the business management program. The following students have completed college level business classes while in high school. Through these courses, they have also earned multiple college credits through the Gemini program. These students currently have top level business skills and they have maintained the highest averages in these classes. Now they are ready to enter into the accelerated college programs next year with these business skills already accomplished. Congratulations to Jessica Rossini for a Certificate of Achievement in Personal Money Management and College Accounting. And then also to Caitlin Brown and Camry Siemens who received a Certificates of Achievement in Personal Money Management, College Accounting Gemini, and were both Entrepreneurship Club co-vice presidents. Congratulations. Next is the Spencer Dodge Memorial Citizenship Award for $500. In 1987, a young man by the name of Spencer Dodge graduated from Marcus Whitman. Realizing, realizing the college co costs were prohibitive for he and his family, he opted to join the Army shortly after graduation. While many of his classmates were preparing for college, Spencer was toting a rifle and trying to make his way through basic training. After having been in the armed services for two years, his company commander saw the great promise that Spencer exhibited and recommended he spend a year at the West Point Prep School at Fort Mammoth, New Jersey. He graduated from there and went on to West Point to become class president for four years. Spencer was taken from us on February 16, 1995, in a tragic accident and in his memory, his parents have established a memorial award to, that is to be given out yearly at the Senior Award Ceremony in June. The person winning this award must exhibit the same qualities that make Spencer an outstanding person. These qualities are reliability, trustworthiness, dedication, sincerity, compassion, humor, and a tremendous work ethic. Qualities that anyone winning this award can be proud of. We would like to present this award to a truly outstanding senior. This year's recipient of the Spencer Dodge Memorial Citizenship Award is Jacob Niemans. Now our English Department Academic Achievement Awards given by our English Department. The English Award goes to a senior or seniors graduating with the English GPA competitive with the top of the class. It goes to the student or students who exhibit insightful analysis, masterful and beautiful writing, and a tangible love of language. This accolade recognizes the student or students who finished his or her career at Marcus Whitman as our most accomplished student of English language arts. This year's recipient is Molly Minio. The Senior Most Outstanding Athlete Award. This award is presented to one male and one female senior student athlete who are chosen given the following criteria both nominated and voted on by the varsity coaches. Leadership, sportsmanship, perseverance, performance level, competitiveness, attitude, number of sports, integrity, and commitment to school. All varsity coaches can nominate qualified candidates and votes are determined to award the recipients. I always like to recognize all the athletes that were nominated so first we'll do that for the females. There were two young ladies nominated for this award, both Ashley Parsons and Emily Paddock. The award was given to as the most outstanding female athlete to Emily Paddock. There were five young men nominated for the most outstanding male athlete. I'll read them all to you. Seth Benedict, Caleb McDonough, Jacob Nemitz, Liam Prendergast, and Justin Smith. And the award for the most outstanding male athlete goes to Seth Benedict. Congratulations to both of you. The McComsky Pride Scholarship. This is given by the Marcus Whitman Basketball Boosters. This scholarship is awarded to students who embody Matt McComsky's legacy. The scholarship is awarded to individuals who maintain a strong academic standing throughout high school and who have participated in Marcus Whitman basketball over the years, not only as players, but also by supporting our youth through community service. Athletes have been chosen based on such merit as leadership, accountability, kindness, and pride in the paw. Congratulations to our 2020 recipients, Ariana Beverly, Liam Prendergast, 
Emily Haddock, and Seth Benedict. The Tim Smith Leadership Award. This award is given in memory of former Whitman student Tim Smith and goes to a senior who has demonstrated leadership qualities, friendliness, and kindness to all students. Congratulations to the 2020 recipient of this award, Troy Foster. The Carla Dukowski Moreau Memorial Award. This award is presented to a graduating senior who, despite extraordinary personal challenges, continually strives to reach admirable personal goals while cheerfully reaching out to the needs of others. Congratulations on being chosen as a 2020 recipient of this wonderful award, Jalissa Conklin. And now our high school chorus awards, given by Mrs. Blua. For outstanding effort in high school chorus, Elena Dome, Aubrey Bagley, Emily Lehman, Maddie Wells, Molly Minio, Jacob McGregor, Jacob Nemitz, Robbie Abel, Maya Cushman, and Jasmine Mitchell. For outstanding musicianship in high school chorus, Elena Dome, Aubrey Bagley, Emily Lehman, Maddie Wells, Molly Minio, Jacob McGregor, Jacob Nemitz, Robbie Abel, Maya Cushman, and Jasmine Mitchell. Senior high all-county participation are, was only Emily Lehman this year. Above and beyond awards go to Jacob McGregor, Aubrey Bagley, Maddie Wells, Emily Lehman, Molly Minio and Jacob Nemitz. For the National School Choral Award, Jacob Nemitz and Aubrey Bagley. For the Choral Directors Award, Emily Lehman, Elena Don't, Jacob McGregor, Robbie Abel, Maya Cushman, and Molly Minio. Leonard Bernstein Award to Maddie Wells. The Fred Waring Choral Directors Award goes to Molly Minio, Jasmine Mitchell, Robbie Abel, and Emily Lehman. The Quincy Jones Music Award, given to Elena Don't, Jacob Nemitz, Aubrey Bagley, Maya Cushman, and Emily Lehman. Next are our band and marching band awards that are traditionally given out at the banquet and they're given by the Marcus Women Band Boosters and the NYS FBC. For the John Philip Sousa Award, Emily Lehman. For the New York State Field Band Conference Scholarship Award, Emily Lehman. The Director's Award for Marching Band, Maya Cushman. Kelly Papoon Memorial Award, Robbie Abel. The Marcus Women Band and Guard Award, Emily Lehman. The Brady Rouse Memorial Award, Jasmine Mitchell and Jacob McGregor. The National School Color Guard Award, Jasmine Mitchell. The National School Marching Band Award, Jacob McGregor. And the Quincy Jones Award to Molly Minio. Congratulations to each of you. And now the Robson Savage Post Award is presented to a student who shows patriotism good citizenship, and volunteers for community service. Our 2020 recipient is Gavin Davis. Now for our sportsmanship awards. This award is presented to one senior boy and one senior girl who have maintained high personal standards of clean, healthy, and vigorous living. They have maintained scholastic standards as acceptable to school authorities and have been outstanding individuals in competitive sports. Congratulations to our 2020 recipients, Dakota Blue Eye and Ashley Parsons. The Wildcat Soccer Awards given by the Marcus Whitman Soccer Boosters. This scholarship is given yearly to soccer players who met the criteria of the award. It will be given to players who participated in four years of high school soccer, have a grade point average of 85% or higher, attended 95% of practices and games, and demonstrate positive behavior 
both on and off the soccer field. Congratulations to this year's Wildcat Soccer Award winners, Ariana Beverly, Caleb McDonough, Emily Paddock, and Kelsey Tiffany. The Reggie O'Hearn Memorial Award given by the O'Hearn family. <coughs> Mr. O'Hearn was a longtime member of the Marcus Whitman community and a dedicated supporter of the children within it. He was a firm believer in encouraging children in positive ways, assuring them that because of this, their awards would be bigger in the end. <clears throat> Each year, he would adopt a family during the holidays, making sure they had something to open on that special morning. He had horses for over 26 years, and one of his biggest joys was watching children take advantage of the opportunity to interact with them. Recognized as a strong family man with unwavering faith, Mr. O'Hearn always tried to find the good in every person and would challenge you only when he felt there was a need. The recipient of this award exemplifies the quali qualities Mr. O'Hearn lived by. Determination, honesty, integrity, leadership, and respectfulness. The winner is someone who enjoys some of the simpler things in life, just like Reggie, being on a horse in the woods or competing in an equine sport. This, someone, this person is someone who always puts her best foot forward, has maintained good grades, and is an overall well-rounded individual. We're pleased to present this award this year to Jessica Rossini. The William Lambert Memorial Scholarship. This award is given in loving memory of William Billy Lambert, who passed away on December 18, 2001. He retired from Marcus Whitman after many years as a bus driver and bus coordinator, and is best remembered for the countless hours spent volunteering with the Marcus Whitman Band and Color Guard. He was kind and considerate and willing to help anyone, always with a smile. Billy was a quiet, soft-spoken, gentle man who thoroughly enjoyed life and never met a stranger. It is with great pleasure that we present this award tonight to Amber Herendy. The Justin Hathor Memorial Award. Two of these are being given this year at $375 each, and they're given by the Hathorn family. The recipients of this award, had this award have genuine caring personalities, are respectful of adults and peers, maintain high performance level in academics, and will attend college to further their education. Checks will go directly to the college. Congratulations to Kayla McDonough and Kelsey Tiffany. Next is the Jim and Rose Alteen Band Award. The recipient of this award maintains a B average, displays leadership, and has, given, and has gone above and beyond the normal circumstances expectations for the music program. We are pleased to announce the 2020 winner is Jacob McGregor. The Marcus Whitman Federation of School Employees Achievement Award given by the Federation employees. In recognition of their valuable traits of being responsible, respectful, and motivated students of Marcus Whitman, the Marcus Whitman Federation of School Employees proudly presents Certificates of Achievement and Cash Award to Lucio Rick Samus DeWall, Maxine Nudd, Dakota Sims, and Ian Smith. The Marcus Whitman Teachers Association Educators Scholarship. <clears throat> this is a $1,200 award. This scholarship is for the purpose of promoting the education profession as a valuable and integral part of our society. The association recognizes the deep responsibility that educators bear and wishes to encourage high quality ca candidates to enter this profession. <clears throat> With this purpose, the association offers a $1,200 scholarship for the Marcus Whitman graduate pursuing the education profession. Congratulations to the 2020 recipient of the scholarship, Molly. The Past Principals Award, given by Mr. Alan DeGroot. We are lucky to have students year in, year out, who embrace every aspect of the high school experience. These students are involved at every level, sports, music, community service, and school pride, building events like the famous Mr. Whitman pageant. It is these students who proudly wear the blue and gold, but more importantly, are proud to call, we are called, we are proud to call products of Marcus Whitman. This recipient has made the most out of every opportunity over the last four years. 
She is an active member and role model. She respects others and is thus well respected by her peers and staff alike. She expects much of herself and handles herself with maturity. Look no further for a wildcat who embodies pride in the paw. Congratulations goes to Emily Lehman. Next though is scholarships for academic excellence and they're given by the New York State Education Department. Based on their scholastic achievements in high school, four seniors have been awarded the New York State Scholarships for Academic Excellence. These scholarships are awarded tentatively pending the appropriation of state funds during the session of our New York State Legislature. The we'll New York State, <laughs> we'll see how that goes. <laughs> anyway, the New York State Board of Regents joins me in congratulating you on these outstanding, uh, this outstanding academic accomplishment. Receiving $500 scholarships are Ashley Parson, Robbie Abel, and Jacob Neiman. A $1,500 scholarship is awarded to Maya Cushman. Congratulations. The Todd Nellis Memorial Scholarship Award. Todd Nellis was a 1988 graduate of Marcus Whitman, who passed away in May of 2013. Todd was the fire chief of the Stanley Fire Department and basically lived his entire life around the community. Most of this, his time was spent volunteering in the fire department and in various community EMT corps. This scholarship is presented to a senior who has been active in either the fire department or ambulance corps or is community service oriented. Congratulations, Ethan Whipple. The Danielle M. Villanti Memorial Music Scholarship for $300. This award is given to a graduating senior who is involved in the Marcus Whitman Music Program and is going to pursue a career in music or music education. Our 2020 recipient of this award is Maya Cushman. The Elizabeth J. Amadon Memorial Award Certificate in Cash given by the Happiness House in recognition of his quality of character, personal accomplishments, and contributions both as a student and assistant of his community, we proudly present this Memorial Award to Chase Priest. The Theodore Smith Jr. Award, two awards are given both at $1,000 each. Seniors receiving this award are of excellent character and have shown continuous positive input regarding our school culture, working with students and staff alike. They will continue their education by attending either a two or four year college. It's with a great deal of pleasure that we present this award to Liam Prendergast and Emily Lehman. The Senior Technology Achievement Award given by Mr. Shuey. This award is presented to students that have excelled at creating and problem solving using technology. The 2020 recipients of the Senior Technology Award are Nicholas Burgess, Tanner Hurlbert, Alonzo Riella Lopez, and Liam Prendergast. Congratulations to all. Staff FFA degree recipients. The Empire you mean State, Mr. Leahy? I do mean State. Okay, I thought so. Thank you. Yes. State FFA degree recipients. The Empire degree is the highest honor students can receive at the state level. It requires documentation of a student's SAE as well as confirmation that the student has received the Green Hand and Chapter degrees. The following criteria are, were met by these seniors who have been awarded the Empire degree. One, while in school, they have completed the equivalent of at least two years of agricultural education. Two, after entering agricultural education, they must have earned and productively invested at least $1,000 or worked at least $300 in excess of scheduled class time. Three, they have demonstrated leadership ability. Four, they have participated in at least five different FFA activities above the chapter level. And five, they have participated in at least 25 hours of community service. Please join me in extending congratulations to Jasmine Mitchell, Camry Siemens, Abigail Mance, Jessica Rossini, and Daniel Vaughn. We would also like to recognize Jasmine Mitchell, who received a gold rank ranking for her supervised agricultural experience in ag education. She has spent many hours throughout the last four years working with the elementary students during Ag Literacy Week work this year with the second period intro to ag class. She has been an awesome role model into the ninth grade group 
and had an incredible gift of teaching. Congratulations on this outstanding achievements to Jasmine Mitchell. Exceptional Senior Art Awards given by Mr. Rowe. For outstanding achievement in advanced studio art, please congratulate Robbie Abel, Devin Grover, Lillian Chrysler, Jonathan Case, and Alexa Johnson. For outstanding achievement in senior art, congratulations to Lindsay Johnston, Rose Winham, and Aubrey Bagley. The Senior Art Award given by Mr. Rowe for outstanding achievement in digital photography, we recognize the following student, student Jasmine Mitchell. The New York State Comptroller Student Achievement Awards Certificates given by the State Comptroller Thomas DiNapoli. In recognition of hard work, dedication, and success, the State Comptroller recognizes the academic excellence of Liam Prendergast and Emily Lehman and sends a sincere congratulations to them and his best wishes in congratulating the graduating class of 2020. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Ontario County Youth Board Award in recognition only is goes to congratulations to Jalissa Conklin. For our Marcus Whitman Visual and Performing Arts Theater Scholarships, congratulations to these students for their dedication, commitment, and passion for the theater arts. For the theater arts goes to Aubrey Bagley, Emily Lehman, and Jacob Nemeth. The Harriet Goodsall Memorial Scholarship for $1,000. The Allegations Board of the Finger Lakes Area Community Endowment is awarding this scholarship to a senior who is pursuing college education. This award is to be used towards the cost of tuition and we proudly present that to Emily Lehman. The American Red Cross $250 in certificate. The American Red Cross offers biological learning and learning and action opportunities for high school students. The Red Cross is setting out to engage and grow our core of youth blood donors and leaders in the meaningful and innovative ways. Through the American Red Cross High School Scholarship Program, Marcus Whitman High School and our students have the opportunity to help others while also helping establish a scholarship fund to benefit engaged students as they move on to higher education. The scholarship will be awarded to the recipient's name to the institution of higher education that that student will attend. It is our pleasure to award the scholarship to Aubrey Bagley. And thank you to all of you that have given blood on this behalf. That is how we earn the scholarship as well for our school. Last but not least of our awards this evening, and then we'll have some thank yous at the end. For perfect attendance awards, it is our distinct pleasure to award the following seniors perfect extent attendance certificates. Yes, attendance is still important as a senior. For perfect attendance in your senior year only, Kelsey Tiffany, Madison Wells, Kaylee Wilt, Jalissa Conklin, Jacob McGregor, and Liam Prendergast. For the past two years, Jonathan Case, Ryan Gage, and Jacob Nemitz. And for the past four years, yes, four years, Dakota Blue Eye and Emily Padden. I'd like to congratulate all our seniors in their awards this evening and thank you all for attending our show today. It's a little different. We have hugs and high fives for all of you and we'll give you more information on how to pick up your awards and certificates later. But please keep in mind some of them will come with thank you notes. Please make sure that you send these thank you notes to the people that are included in your, your awards and certificates. They would greatly appreciate to hear from you. Have a wonderful night. We'll see you soon. Congratulations. Bye.